Because <laughs> it's, it's on backwards. <laughs> That's awesome. The shelter from last night, no fire. First night, no fire in a while. Very cold. So, yeah. Just passed some uh, out and back hikers. And, uh, yep, back on the trail this morning. Those guys are ahead of me. And uh, it's going to be a good day. We're going to do a hotel tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. Ten miles, though. Ten miles to get to that intersection. So I'm going to kind of take it easy on the get-go. Hopefully the sun stays out. Oh. Got my gloves back. Five miles extra. And, uh, yeah. Just wanted to say, have a good day. It's a little cold. Got my Sherpa hat on. And uh, I will catch up. See you later. Winnie Pooh. Winnie the Pooh would call this the blustery day. A blustery day in the woods. I stopped for a minute to take off that puffy and the Sherpa hat, put on my hat, and uh, they just leave it to the hoodie. Once you get warmed up, you're moving, and you don't really need the gloves, depending on the weather, of course. But today we got sun, which is just, uh, I don't even know what word I was looking for there, just brilliant. Brilliant wonders for your skin. Get a little vitamin D and make this 10 miles today. Hop in mud puddles. More mud, but it's a lot, lot nicer trail. Very flat, as you saw. Um, little rocks, not big ones. And uh, makes for an easier day to make be better miles. So yesterday, even though the track miles were... 8.9 from shelter to shelter on the trail. If you add the 2.5, I went to find my gloves and the 2.5, I went back from finding my gloves. I'm just about at 15 miles. So, or, or 14 miles, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's not a lot, but that's a lot for me. As you know, not the fastest hiker. Um, Last one, the Katahdin wins, even though I was already at Katahdin. It's still, every day brings a little bit of new awesome and some challenges, as you can see. Sometimes you're not happy when things happen or go wrong. And uh, sometimes everything is just fine. Usually, it turns out just fine. So, we'll get a new water filter for Blue Plate in town. I'm a little bit behind them, probably about a half a mile. And uh, to a hotel in Lake I was staying. I don't know where where speed bump called, but the rate was right for two beds and a guy on the floor. 
So we will, I don't know if we'll flip for that or what we'll do, but I don't care. Hot shower, yeah. Uh, coffee in the room, yeah. Not waking up to 30 degrees, yeah. Um, nice break, and then laundry, of course. It's probably the most important thing is laundry and a little resupply. So, yep, I'll keep up or try to keep you up. I know I'm way behind. Probably already at home, and you're looking at this, and we're talking about it. I'm kidding. Um, hopefully, I can get some videos uploaded there, too. I'm going to try to make a focused effort. I need to just get into the the habit of doing it. And I've been getting into the habit of enjoying the trail and having fun. You know, the videos are a lot of work. And um, that doesn't mean I don't still want to do them. I truly do. It's just that after these long and trying days, some of them... Um, it's just hard to keep up and I'm so far behind it. It's a little bit overwhelming. So that's just the way I am somewhat of a procrastinator. So thanks for watching. And this is really a vlog for my personal adventure anyway. So I can go back and take a look and see what I did back in the day, or maybe show some grandkids if I ever have them, which would be awesome. And, uh, no pressure kids. <laughs> I love you both, whatever choices you make, no matter what. So, um, have a good day, and I will catch up. that molding boys over there because the glue ain't working check this view out remember those colors and those trees bye bye they're gone as soon as the first rain comes the Vermont Vermontite said and boom there they go rain yeah we're on a ridge line across from a ridge line with a bunch of windmills which is wonderful to see people in this community hopefully benefiting from that that free power yeah free power free power I should use some pretty cool little look out here got about five miles to town I think something like that something like that yeah I think up there probably our smartest bet. I don't see anything I like down here. Yeah, me either. That's it. Take a break.
need a shower. I need to wash my feet. I need two showers. I need to wash my socks. They are now one with my feet and Vermont. <laughs> I just have socks. I don't have feet anymore. They're just socks. <laughs> my feet are dissipated. They're gone. Just easy socks. We need to wash our socks. Woo, power lines. Little view with the power lines. Always a little view with the power lines. First white blaze I've seen in a while. <laughs> One point four to town. Not going to the Melham shelter. I guess we'll go through this. That's cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Still doing it, can you believe it? <laughs> almost at the road for today. Coming down the hill, finally almost there. I can see the parking lot. Oh, and there's an awesome creek, of course. Unfortunately, there's a little berm in between me and the creek. They gave us a bridge. Nice. That's awesome. So here's the intersection. That's where we got off. Just in case if I forget. <laughs>